And we're back. I am Landon Austin. What's up, nerds? I'm Jason Monday. And we're playing some Mario 64 for you. Is this the right side I want to go to? Yeah, let's go small. You so you talked to the pink bomb in the last episode. But this seems big. Am I it small is or is it? The world's big. You're small. Oh, that's what it's you what meant. We want. So I was go straight small through. World. Yeah, you can go straight through this. Oh, okay, world. that's what I want. That's right. So I think you did talk to the pink bomb to unlock. So now this. I can bomb myself. So I believe. Or shoot myself. Yeah, you can go straight to the cannon. I'm pretty myself. sure. Even though. Even though you just jumped right off the edge in the last episode. Yes. It's okay. Let's do this. This should be open for you to cannon yourself up onto this hill. Big mountain. Let's let's tall tall mountain. Let's get up here. Here we go. Now where yeah, are we shooting? Up top? Now let's see here. Let's take a look at what we can do. I feel like we can go up there. Yeah. We can shoot that guy for fun. Yeah, let's just go up top. There's a tree up there you can try and shoot towards. Just shoot right at the tree there. Do you want me to go tree or top? Let's go tree. Let's go tree, why not? I'm pretty sure that'll leave you right at a path that'll go inside the mountain. Oh, too low. short on the tree. Low. It's okay, you can go right back down. That's right. Is this right? Okay. Oh, well, stop it, man. You're flat. You're flat. I don't know why if I butt pound it wouldn't hurt me. It's because there's a lot of padding on the butt. Yeah, butt's great for landing on. That's what they said in Little League. If you're going to get hit by a ball, turn, turn your butt. Down. So you get butt hit shot. on the butt. So padded. Let's get this going right here. Oh, that's a good shot. That's a good right shot. Look at that. Perfect. Nailed it. Sniped Top of it. The tree. Sniped it. That was like it. a headshot on the tree. That is. Now, what's the benefit of being in the tree? So now, if you jump down and go to your left. So that, down? No, straight over there towards okay, the Goomba. Okay. Don't let him kill you. So now you got a oh path gosh. here. This is one of those things you gotta gotta take your time a little bit. Let's get some. And this will lead. Tone. This will lead into the mountain. Where in the last episode, one of those little numbers we got was at yeah, this here. that's right. But inside, oh, look at that movement! Nice control. It's all about control. Woo! Woo! Oh, bad camera. Woo! Angle. Woo! Yeah, get, let's get in this mountain now. There's gonna be a caterpillar or something inside here. That's right. I have to. F oh, eight red coins. Yeah, there's eight red coins in here. Do it. Let's do eight red coins. I think there actually is two stars inside here. There probably is. Maybe even. Three, but definitely two. Don't fall. Yeah, there's nervous. like a caterpillar crawling around above you. No, gosh. Nice. Getting nervous. Okay, that corner one. That's gonna be tricky over That's tricky. To your this right is side. tricky because I can't really see what I'm doing. This is a hard jump. Oh, you what got am it. I doing? It'll, you'll grab the edge. Yeah, just go right. Regular jump. Go for it. Yeah. Okay. Now, the one over to your right uh -huh. in the very corner. That one is tricky. I think you have to go back to the one you you were at over there. Mhm. Mm so just long jump to it. I think so. Yeah, you should be. But then how would I, I have to, how do I get up there? You might be able to long jump from that one to the corner. Well, I feel like I need to jump to this mini platform first, and then you can do that. Play it safe. Oh! Oh yeah, you're fine. You're good. Hold on, Mario. Just take a look around. Maybe switch to first person. Let's get this going. I think you What can... if I go down and backflip to it? No, it's not. That's, that's pretty high. You think I can long jump to it? That's real high. Oh, oh you know what? Go back over there. There you go. And to get the top. that one. Yeah. And then, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, you'll be able to grab the ceiling and walk across the ceiling. <sighs> See, that was, that's where they got you. That's where they get you. That's how they get that you. That jump is a little higher than you thought. It's Next sad. time, you just gotta remember to, to double jump it or something. Backflip, maybe. I do need to double jump that. It's really sad. So let's talk let's talk about something near and dear to me. Did you ever have a Sega Genesis? Of course I had a Sega Genesis. Okay, good. What is your number one Sega Genesis game? Top three. Ooh, okay, yeah. Number one, just one is hard. I would say one of my favorite games or series huh? was Streets of Rage. Oh, oh, Streets that's of Rage definitely two up there. Was That's like, in my top five. It's just like a... If you don't know what it is, it's like jump, a jump, jump. typical beat em up game. You just kind of butt mash and like you're just fighting waves. You butt mash. Butt mash. Like, butt mash. Like you do with Mario. Button mash. Button mash. Yeah. <laughs> butt mash. Butt mash. Butt mash. <laughs> butt mash. Hey, just, whatever that means. You know, you're just trying to kill guys and get right. through levels. That was really fun. It was kind of pointless, but just it was satisfying. It was very fun. Okay. Um, what another else? great one. I love the Sonic games. Oh, it anything Sonic. Fun. Agreed. Sonic 2 was amazing. Even Sonic and Knuckles was pretty fun. Sonic and oh, Knuckles. Oh, 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 you might be dead. Uh, oh, oh, good nice. catch. I ain't jumping off. I ain't jumping off. But 
I loved Sonic Spinball too. That was a super yes! fun game. Now oh. you're talking my language. Let's just ignore that I just died. Yeah, let's keep just keep talking. talking Sonic for a sec. Sonic didn't Pinball was amazing. Spinball, yeah. Sonic Spinball was amazing. So fun. It was actually really, really a pretty hard game. It was. But it was a lot of fun. Really fun. Um, now what else? Let's say like for like, what about Battle Toads? Battle Toads? That was like a Nintendo game. Also on Sega Genesis. That's how I discovered it. There was a Super Nintendo version that I did play. I don't remember ever playing a Sega version. Okay. But yeah, Battle Toads is great. Battle Toads is great. Classic. Oh. Battle Toads and Double Dragon. You might ever play that. I never played Double Dragon. There's the uh no like separately there was a Double Dragon game, but then also there was like a combined Battle Toads and Double Dragon. Oh really? Game. Yeah, where you could like play together. I didn't was, know that. It was like a weird, like, medley game. It's like Ooh, nice. Something a medley that, of games. Yeah, it hadn't, like, really been done much before, so it was kind of a cool thing. But... Well, Mortal Kombat. You play Mortal Kombat on there? Oh, oh what a shot again. It's okay. No. No, it's not okay. Oh, uh, you missed. Oh, and that... Was that... The oh, the life? wind! Oh, you got zero lives left now. Well... Gotta do it. This is the one. This is it. Man, what else on Sega? What about... Oh, you know what? I'll, I think... I always forget about this game, but I loved it so much. Yeah. Probably more than I should have. Mm -hmm. it, was not really, it wasn't that great of uh -huh. a game, but it, I had so much fun playing it. Road Rash? Road Rash! Oh, yes! I loved, loved, loved Road Rash. that game. It was so much So fun. much fun. Because you're like... Basically what it was is you're... One, you're a racer. And you I think they were, they were pretty much all like motorcycles or something. and um, You're racing against other people going through just like these random weird like country roads and like through some city roads and you can get like weapons and stuff and like upgrade yes. your bikes and then you can like fight people like fight hit them friends. while you're driving through the race it was really so fun. much fun and like at the time i remember thinking like oh these are pretty good graphics and they were like <laughs> like <laughs> they were so even bad. then like thinking back i kind of uh -huh. knew they were terrible graphics and if i was to play uh -huh. that game now i'd be like wow like it what it, there's like eight pixels total on the screen yeah it was so bad but it was, it was really it, fun though. yeah it was such a fun game it like it didn't even matter so that i think that's my three dude i think every game you named with the exception of double dragon battle totes i loved and had yeah i mean I would, I would okay so top three i would say if i can't count full series like sonic mm -hmm. um i would have to say sonic spinball Road Rash. Yes, Sonic's in Road Rash. And then... Streets of Rage? Probably Streets of Rage 2. Yes. Or maybe even actually just Sonic 2. If I ha if I couldn't do the multiple... So good. Multiple from one series, but yeah. Love those games. Completely agree. I remember I was really lame. Oh, shoot. I'm really stupid. Hey, you got yourself a one-off, though. I did, so I didn't lose it. Not over. My mom would buy me games every once in a while, and when she bought me games, she, first time was my birthday, she bought me Mortal Kombat, because she talked to the guy, and he recommended it. She didn't know it was, like, the bloodiest game ever. <laughs> That's still... funny that a parent would buy you Mortal Kombat. I know, Cause, exactly. Because, like, if they had any idea, they'd be like, no it's way. It's the kind of game you have to sneak. Yeah, oh, yeah. Get your older brother to buy it. My parents wouldn't let me have Mortal Kombat for, like, a long time. Yeah. When it came out, right. they're like, no way. Well, that's the first game she bought me. The next one, she kind of went down a few notches. She uh, bought me Math Blasters. Math Blasters? You, you ever play that? I didn't, but it sounds like fun. <laughs> I love math. It's... I'd play it. They have, like, equations in the sky, and you had to shoot the right answer. And... Sounds like fun. Yeah, good I'd way to learn that. your times tables. Yeah, I love equations. So, go, Mom. Let's see if we can hit this tree. All right. Ooh, there's a shy guy. I think if you shoot him, it'll actually like, hurt you. But yeah, he flew away. Look at that. There's that, that was one a perfect up up shot. Put yourself that one up. That's a heat seeking one up. Yeah, I love those. It's the best. Don't even have to try. Well, comes now to, I have to comes try. Comes to you. Okay, yeah, I got you back on the skill track. Just take it slow, just tap it. Uh, just, oh! Oh, uh, too aggressive, Landon. Yep. So sad. Whoa, I got hurt by hitting water. It's hard water. It is hard. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's weird though. Like, I was always really more of a Nintendo fanboy than, like, Sega. Yeah. Or. I mean, all the way from, like, NES. I loved NES. Loved NES Super was Nintendo. My I was Contra? More... You ever play oh, Contra? Yeah, of course I played Contra. Dude. Freaking Do we have Contra on this right, video? ABBA? Do we have any Contra on this? We need, we need some uh, Contra episodes. 
That would be fun. We should should we play some Contra? Oh, we should play some Contra. Because that's one of those games. It's like pretty timeless. It's just like a oh, fun... it's so good. It's so hard, but so good. It is really hard. Yeah, I think we need some game. Contra episodes. Um, yeah, I loved loved SNES. I think over Sega. I never had one, but I loved it. Um, and I think honestly that's because of two main things: the Mario series and the Zelda series. Those oh, are yeah. far and away my favorite game series of all time, Mario and Zelda. Because they're just so consistently good. Like, I think we talked about it at one point. I didn't really like Mario Sunshine that much. I think that was by far the best Mario game. But every other one. If you like Mario great. Sunshine, put it in the comments. If it's like one of your top favorites. And yeah, it might just be me. Like, I, I didn't really give it enough of a chance, probably, but I never played all the way through. But, like, I just I didn't enjoy the first, like, several hours or however long I played. Okay, so this is where you gotta be careful here. You gotta double or even possibly triple jump this game. How am I gonna double jump it? Just so stand still, jump it? stand still and jump, and then like while you're falling, start moving forward and then do your second jump. Okay, okay, okay. Like that, yeah. Oh, oh, oh I'm so nervous. You could even. Or I could do that. You, yeah. That's a. How do you take that jump? You might have to try a triple. You could even possibly have to try a wall jump. I'm thinking that the, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Uh, my head's cloudy. You gotta get us a star. Let's go back to get that snowman's head. You know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah. Let's go get That's that downstairs. Snowhead. Get that snowhead. Jumping downstairs. Oh. Yeah, that was from that's from quite a few episodes back, right? Oh, that is a few episodes back. Tried to get the snowhead, couldn't get it. Died. Yeah. Moved on. Yeah, we're gonna get you that snowman's head. Let's get that head. Is that number three right there? That's, that's it. it. So I remember this. I remember seeing you play this. You watched this episode. I watched this episode. It was a struggle. Was like, you knew oh, that I needed you. Oh, Landon, you walked right by it. Okay. Okay. So, so here's what you do. Okay. Go up the chimney. Jump up, up here, uh -huh. and then just slide down to the left. Can we kill the penguin? You can't kill it. Oh, well, you might be able to throw it off an edge or something. Let's do that. But oh wait, stop! Don't don't go any farther. Uh huh. Oh, is his body right here? Is his head right his here? His head is right down here. So, I just need to slide down here? Yep. There it is. Oh, okay. I'm done with you, Penguin. He's saying, there's the I need a good head on my shoulders. Now, follow it down. Uh -huh. I'm going to take the Penguin with me. Whoa. You got to get in front of it somehow without it running over you. So, uh -huh. you kind of got to speed through here. Okay. And then you have to lead it right to the to the head. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Make a quick turn and lead there it right go. to the head. Which is over here. And it'll follow you and it'll bump right into the body, right into the head. There you go. Hang on, I'm taking you with me. Oh! I got you, but there you go. There's a star. That was Bam. easy. Bam! Easy star! Hey, we have not had a swoosh in a good solid 20 minutes. We Wait, needed that. Can I bring the penguin with me? Try it. It's I'm my never, pet penguin. I don't think I ever Come tried pet penguin. penguin. I don't think I ever tried it. Let's get it. Okay, you're and coming with me, penguin. that is a penguin swoosh. Almost! Not yet, not yet. You gotta hit it. Penguin swoosh! Oh, swoosh! Yeah, baby, penguin, you're mine either way, whether you know it or not. There we go. Now we well, got... guys, I think that's it for this time, right? Yeah, that was a good, good, ep a good ending to a, an episode that needed to get a star. A good struggle. Got us. It's a been swish. a good struggle. Sixty-three. That swishing. level we were working on—that's a tough level. It is tough. Not gonna lie, that is a tough one. I'm gonna stretch. Well, I'm coming back. You better come back, because if you don't, I'll be set. Next episode, we're gonna be doing like three swooshes minimum. Per minute. Minimum. Per minute. Later, Austin. Jason Monday. Peace. See ya.